to surrender are false. All orders to surrender are false. Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what a salute report is. So a salute report is used by a lot of different types of military units and it's a way to simply report information about what you are seeing um, either from an OP or an observation post or just as a way to report to hire the situation that you're dealing with or what you see in front of you. Uh, what brought this on is a really good friend of mine was just in a competition and during the competition they had to submit a salute report. Uh, my buddy, not being military, had never done a salute report, had never heard of a salute report, and they literally just handed him a uh, sheet of paper with the very basics. So if anybody else finds himself in that situation or you just were wondering what a salute report is, uh, here you go. So S-A-L-U-T-E, salute. Um, the S is size. So that's you reporting the, <clears throat> the size of the... Uh, the group that you're seeing or you know so you could say three tanks two boats squad size element um you know five guys just whatever it's just telling the size of how many people or equipment that you're seeing uh, the a is for activity so that is what are they doing uh appear to be on patrol uh conducting reconnaissance um you know, engaging another target, just whatever you see them actually doing. Uh, location would would normally be via a military grid re reference system grid, so an eight or a ten digit grid of the location of uh, where those bad guys are. Uh, you can also use key terrain features, as in road junctions, uh, high speed avenues of approach, stuff like that. Uh, or you can just use a uh, uh, cardinal direction. So you'd say, you know. Uh, northeast of my location, 1,200 yards, um, and report the location that way. The U is for unit or uniform. So you are reporting if you can tell what unit they are with, what country they belong to. For small boats or vessels, you're reporting uh, if they have a flag. Can you identify what flag it is? Do they have any unit identification markings on their uniform or on their boats or on their vehicles or anything like that? Just trying to give as much information as you can about who it is that you're actually seeing. Uh, the, top, the T in salute is for time, which would be generally like I see them right now. Uh, or if you're doing in a limited comms environment where you're only calling in to report at specific times, um, then you would give the time that you actually observe the activity of whatever they were doing. And then the E is equipment. So if you see anything special about them, so in the small boat world, that would be like cruiser weapons mounted and manned, or it could be that you see a squad size element with what appears to be a sniper or a designated marksman. That would be something important to pass up. Um, if they have heavy weapons, you know, do you see machine gunners? Um, do you see grenadiers? All that kind of stuff is going to fit into equipment. Or if they're tracked vehicles, wheeled vehicles, uh, and what type of equipment they have mounted on there. And then some people add another E at the end, and that depends on which organization you work for and uh, whether or not they're doing that. And that last E stands for enemy disposition, which would be like, um, you know, are they, do they appear friendly? Do they appear hostile? Are, you know, in the, in the boat ship world, is it a small craft just coming out to take a look at you? Or do they appear like they're training weapons at you and they're getting ready to shoot at you? Um, so that last E, if you see it done that way, is for enemy disposition. Um, so that's a salute report. Size, activity, location, unit uniform, time, and equipment. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on 3COG.